kick it. <laughs> There's a little red light blinking, so that's a good sign because they do have to have a light that indicates the power is on. Crash and burn are ready. We already saw them. They're continuing to and prove And there that we go. Ready. Scotsman has come to life. The flames on for Crash and Burn. Burn being the blue, Crash being the orange. This is a fight in the loser's bracket. Each of these teams has lost once, so this is going to be it for one of the teams. Expect it to get hot. All three got flamed. Four, the count has started. Three, two, one, fight. And Crash and Burn splitting up. Raging Scotsman going after Crash. Burn trying to come in from behind, ends up bumping into his teammate. Regis Cosman driving up the wedge on Burn. And again, now teaming up. It looks like those spikes that are on Burn, a very effective choice. Crash being sent into the wall. Burn trying to find a good position. And now we got the first flame. First flame of the fight as Burn is thrown and now surfing on top of Raging Scotsman. Looks spins himself off. Now Scotsman going after Crash, who on fire crashes into the wall, into the inverted. It One of the tires of Burn is wobbling. And we saw that in the previous fight, too, where Toro Maximus knocked those tires loose. They may not have been able to get them as tight as they would have liked in time for this fight. We're almost one minute into the three-minute match. Crash and Burn keeping the flames on, trying to roast whatever they can on Scotsman. We have yet to see the flames thrower unleashed by it, Scotsman. It looks like that might have been what Forrest was trying to get to work when he came back into the arena, is that the flamethrower on Scotsman not responding. And so... He didn't want to forfeit the fight. The body of the robot still works. It can still drive around. So he's going to go ahead and just operate as a wedge for this fight. Both Crash and Burn having injured wheels. But that does not stop them at all. They can ride, of course, in the inverted, which one of them is. Unfortunately, trying to get that flame in there. Unfortunately, it's Burn, which has the more effective of the two wedges, is the one that's upside down right now. One that's upside down and with an incredibly damaged wheel. And he's right-sided up by throwing himself over the top of Scotsman, using his opponent to his advantage. But their disadvantage is weight. They have exactly. to split that 220 into 110 pounds max each. So Scotsman, with the greater force, is able to throw Crash and Burn around. At this point, watching that wheel wobbling on Burn, it's getting it's closer off. and closer. I'll be impressed if it stays on for the remaining minute in this fight. Crash and Burn being incredibly aggressive. The tempo of the match has seemingly changed slightly. And as I say that, Crash is being sent into the wall yet again. And Raging... It's slammed right in front of the judges. That's going to work well in Scotsman's favor. No fire coming from either bot at this point. And there was Burn able to get under Raging Scotsman, but those wide set tires, Raging Scotsman usually has one wheel on the floor at all times and is able to get away before it's wedged around. And, and there's the, the beautiful thing about having these two wheel bots, they can flip themselves around, able to self right with ease, but Ten Crash seconds. and Burn trying to bully. 10 seconds left now in this fight. It's gonna go the distance. Four, three, two, one. Time is up. And we're going to a judge's decision in this heavyweight bout as Crash and Burn make their way across the floor away from Raging Scotsman, both returning to their original squares. Another tough one. Exactly. As I was saying, the robots are getting stronger. The ones that remain are the strongest of the batch. So you put these strong robots in against one another, and it's tough to get a knockout. The judges are going to have to consider, again, all three minutes of the fight. They're going to look at aggression. They're going to look at damage. Each judge has 11 points that they have to award, so we total up all 33 points, and whichever robot gets more of those points stays in this competition. And for the other one, that will be their second loss, and Saturday will be their last day here at RoboGames. It's going to be tricky to score this because obviously we have the vis visual damage of those wheels on both Crash and Burn. Aggression-wise, they never backed off. They were always trying to push, shove, or bully, uh, occasionally being able to get Scotsman up and over them. Not too much damage, though, 
when they were able to get to the walls. They were pinning him. They were trying to hit whatever they could. But it's so visual when you see Scotsman be able to go from coast to coast, one side of the arena to the other with a bot on its front, mm -hmm. and drive it into the wall several times, crash getting a, a flipped over multiple times, uh, and then having to self-right. And the decision is in 1914. Raging Scotsman sending the Canadians home as that was a fight to stay alive, but a well-fought, entertaining victory. We're back now with Forrest. You've just beaten two robots at once. No flamethrower, though. They had to provide all the spark this time. What happened there? Yeah, uh, when I was starting it up, uh, the LED for our weapon was flickering on and off. Uh, that could either be you know, a master switch, some small little connection is a little loose, so... And it should be up and running next time. Still bullied him really well, though. You actually threw uh, Crash, I believe, at me at one point, which was pretty great to see. Well, they're, they're half the weight, so they fly around a little bit easier, which is nice. Uh, I was surprised to see that their wheel bent a little bit. But, uh, yeah, overall, it was, it was a nice little wedge match. Always good to see a wedge cause actual damage to another wedge. Great match again. Thank you so much, Forrest. And back to the booth.